Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's Christine with Gage Girl Training, an online meal planning and coaching service. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how to come off of the ketogenic diet. So let's get started. Keto is really any diet that is high enough in fat and low enough in carbohydrates to trigger something called ketosis. Now, the body's preferred source of fuel to operate is carbs. However, when you're on a high fat, low carb diet, your body does not have enough carbohydrates in, this, in its system to rely on carbs as a fuel source. So what ends up happening is this process known as ketosis forces the body to use fat as a fuel source and it creates ketones that circulate throughout the body as a replacement form of energy for carbohydrates. A lot of people have been asking me, is keto a long-term sustainable diet? And I'm gonna go through a few factors here, giving you guys my take on it. And if keto is no longer for you, what do you do to end the keto diet without gaining weight? Now, as you guys have seen on my channel, I've actually done the ketogenic diet several times and I have had success with it. I have enjoyed mental clarity. I have enjoyed the food. I have enjoyed weight loss. I've gotten results from it. However, it was not a long-term sustainable approach for me. I think it is a suitable seasonal approach for people to be utilized during times where you're not going super intense in the gym, but you are still working out. Suitable for people who are extremely obese, suitable for those with prediabetes, diabetes, insulin resistance, and potentially those who have PCOS and some specific thyroid issues. What ends up happening for the majority of people is life just gets in the way or maybe you just miss carbs. Maybe there's just food that you miss. Long story short, for whatever reason you want to no longer be on the ketogenic diet, you just are a little afraid of how to add carbs back and you just don't trust yourself around carbs now. So what do you do? So depending on your ultimate goal, the way you do not want to come off of keto is just by having a complete binge day and eating all the things. You are going to blow up. You are going to gain weight. I do not advise that. One gram of carbohydrates will bind three grams of water. So you can expect to gain a lot of water weight initially if you do the eat everything approach to ending the ketogenic diet. I do not advise that approach. What I do advise is giving yourself a 30 day transition period for which to cycle and shift your macronutrient ratios off of keto. What I suggest it, you do is do this in two phases. In phase one, it's just essentially going to be day one through day 15, I suggest shifting your macronutrient ratios by 15% between the carbs and your fats. So what that means is if you're eating 70% fat, I encourage you to drop your fats down to 55% and increasing your carbs up from 5% to 20%. So make that shift in the macronutrient ratios between fats and carbs for the first 15 days. As you increase your carbohydrates, now that you're at 20% carbs, make sure that you're not adding any processed starchy carbs. Don't be adding anything crazy or insane at this point. It will bloat you. So stick to more vegetables, stick to, um, you know, things like spaghetti, squash, zucchini, a little bit more fruit, things that are going to have some fiber in it. You don't really wanna go heavy on the starches at this point. For the second phase of this transition, which would be days 16 through 30, it's going to depend on what your ultimate goal style of eating is going to be. So if you plan to remain on a higher fat, lower carb style of eating, I would suggest adjusting your carbs and fat by another, mm, I would say another 15% maximum at the absolute max. So that would put your carbs at approximately 
35% carbs and your fats at approximately, what are we at with that? So your, your fats would be at 40 and your carbs would be at 35. Now, this is probably the maximum you would wanna go. Most of you are probably gonna to wanna to go somewhere in between zero and 15% for phase two, depending on where you wanna ultimately end up. If you want to ultimately transition back to a bodybuilder style approach, you can go all the way with that and then tweak your fat and boost your protein. However, that second phase is where you really wanna be careful and really figure out and fine tune what type of lifestyle you want to sustain. So like I said, you would want to do a maximum of an, an additional 15% change for the second half of the 30 days. However, it could be less than that if you wish to remain on a high fat, low carb protocol. You can stay on a high fat, low carb protocol without being on keto and actually have a really nice sustainable life. I do encourage you for the first 15 to 30 days to remain in a caloric deficit before bringing your calories all the way up to your maintenance level to prevent weight gain. So if you have any questions or concerns of how to execute and implement this for your needs and goals, please let us know. Or if you want a one-on-one -on -one consultation of what to do next after keto, um, you can click the link below and we'd be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.